All right, day 17, second month of the first year. Let's get into it. So we're in summer. Leave the wake up. There we go. Oh, yes. And I fell asleep putting stuff away. So we might finish doing that today. I needed another couple of extra boxes down there. You can get the diagram for the cooking set by giving some data disks to the research center. After placing the cooking set in your yard, you can start to cook recipes. And there are a couple we need to explore. All right, first things though. Let's dump this box down here. And go to one and open our wooden storage. What did I say I needed? I needed another craft box and a few bits and bobs. Let's sort all. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to leave that at that, and eventually I'm going to work out what I need for my boxes. Uh, probably another real. Oh, I know, I need a chips box. Chips and tapes. Let's see how we go. All right, we have one and. Two and three, that gets them out of there, and that's up two. I needed another ingredients box too, that's right, timber. We only have 50 wood, so we're probably going to spend a bit of time doing that today as well. Alright, oh yeah, and I had relic, relics from, that's the power lamp top, isn't it? Yeah, so that goes there. All right. Okay. I'm going to leave that at that for the moment. We're just going to head straight in and see what we can get done. We need to check our mail and check our map. All right. That goes for that. From the research center. Attached is the diagram for the well pump. Use it well, Petra. That's terrible. Attached is the diagram for the construction crane. It took me a while to work out the length of the crane, but it's all done now. Petra, gee, she's been busy. And, oh, awesome. We've completed the research into the diagram. Here's the result and advanced skyver. Okay. Right, they, and I have vegetables to pick. Okay. There's my mission for over there. One for map. Alright, I have two missions. Let's go and get those done. And there's two desires as well. So we'll, uh, we'll work on that. That looks like Arlo and Sam. We're just going to try and catch the mayor before he hits his office. Hey, good morning, Mr. Mayor. What's the matter? Got something on your mind? Oh, it's about Gust. He wants to participate in a design competition held by the Vincent Design Institute. One of the categories is to make an architectural model. I've heard that he's struggling to select a material for the model since he's after something with high durability. Okay. I've always been focused on my work. Then when I'm home, I usually fret over ginger. Yeah. I guess I haven't been much of a father to my son, but I really want to help him out this time. But I just don't know what to do. Can you help me? As a builder, you probably know a lot about materials, right? Uh, sure. Sounds good. All right, steel plate and resin. Steel plate, resin, strengthened glass and rubber fruit. Okay. Jingo. Hey, you hey. ring? Hey, you young got? one. Got a problem with our game room. The electric box outside seems to have gone kaput. You think you can fix this one up for me? Sure, I can do that. All right. Uh, old parts and a small silicon chip. Steel plate, resin, strength and glass and rubber fruit. When we also need to build the well and make a crane. This should be fun. Okay. Into that one. And I should fertilize my plants before I harvest them, but we might do that again. Alright, that's all of that. I love the little sad face on the bottom. I am a grumpy plant. You have not fertilized me. Oh no. Okay. Three things. Or several more. One construction crane for which you need a level 2 assembly station. 
All right, I need some more pulleys. Got enough cable. Got just enough planks. One hoister and three steel frames. That's going to be a bit tricky. For that, we're going to need uh, more of not that. I'm not going to have enough to do that straight up. Okay. Just get that cooking. All right, I'm going to need the alloy, so I'm going to leave that on because I need to make more bearings. Huh. All right, let's change this one over. We're going to need a little bit more. Um, Actually, we're going to need a lot more carbon steel real quick. So what I'm going to do is just change everything over to create crafting carbon steel, and that'll give me three, time, uh, three times as much in about the same amount of time. So let's try moving my mic to where you can actually hear me. Apologies for that. Okay. Alrighty. We need a hoister. For that, so let's make that one. And we needed steel frames which are down here and need welding rods. I've got 33 welding rods, it's probably not going to last me too long. Uh, steel shells. Oh, wait a minute, cancel out. I did this last time I made these cranes, I got all excited and made steel frames um, out of my steel shells out of my steel frames, and then I was out of carbon steel for a little while so what we've got is enough of those and enough of that enough of that pulleys i thought two would be enough i was sadly mistaken i have enough for one yep yeah, i need another carbon steel bar we'll just get that cooking and then we'll have a look and see what it takes to make a well and i think yep yeah, steel plate bronze pipe bearings and manganese bars Ooh, okay. Just have a quick look at the bearings. Craft up those two. Actually, refuel it too because there's nothing worse than having it run out in the middle of something. Alright. I need another one of these. Let me see if I can make another one of those. And uh, we'll see how that goes. That would be Arlo and Sam back off to their run. Right. Oh, I found it. <laughs> Industrial furnace. All right. Marble plank, steel plate, and industrial core. So I've got, what, six? I'm going to have to make some more steel plate, but I really need to get that manganese up and running too. All right, so we'll get one more of those up and going sort all of that into the craft box crafting one I also remember to need to grab some uh, parts spare parts out there they are industrial cores bearings I need a silicon chip for that Actually, that should go in my chip box. That should go in my chip box, and so should that. All right. So we have silicon chip set, which you can get from the research center. Simple thingy me what's it's from the mines, and I need to keep that on me. So those. I need to check my disk supply as well because I have a feeling we're going to need 20, but I'll take that down to the research center anyway. Okay. Build this and a marble plank, industrial core, steel plate, marble plank. Alrighty, into our minerals and mining box. One of them, there it is. Okay, one of those. Where's my steel plate? One of those, we're good. And away we go. We need a five and a six. Oh, yeah.
Sometimes you just got to wriggle a bit to get it to point in the right direction. Okay. Let's get going with this one and put it down. Six. Alright, we need manganese steel bars. I kept saying it that we'd need it eventually and I, I completely forgot uh, to get it cooking. So as much as I'd like to have two of those running, uh, I can't. Got plenty of those running. We might switch this one off glass. Yeah, I've got 10 to start with. It's not a lot. But we do have 13 strength and st so that's pretty much good for the moment. Uh, which means we can grab... Where is that manganese bar again? Oh, that, that's right, this one doesn't do them. Alright, looks like we're doing uh, charcoal. Otherwise we're never going to get um, enough going. Alright, that's that. So we need to get timber and we need to wait for all of this to cook and we need to fix Django's building and I I think I have a spare steel plate. Yep, so let's grab resin, strengthened glass, and rubber fruit. Uh, resin will be in trees. Alright, maybe I put it in crafting. There it is. Resin, strengthened glass should be in minerals because it comes from sand. Rubber fruit is in, should be in crafting, or trees, one of the two. So timber while we're down this neck of the woods. And a steel plate, let's have a look, what have I missed? Alright, so that's ready to go. And I have old parts in a silicon chip, so we might go and do those two things. And then we might hit up the guild for, um, for a commission. I don't think I've got a commission on board, so we'll check that one. Hey Toady. Hey Emily, all right, back it up, E, excellent, hey Mr. Hello. Lee, how you going? I think Gale is going to allow the robot to stay <laughs> in our town, I know how he feels about it, I don't fault him for his good intentions, but it really might endanger oh, us all, dear. we really? don't know what that yellow robot could do. You agree with me, right? No, I don't. Have a disc and go and see if you can modify your views. I like this gift. Thanks. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Man, you can't be scared of the world forever. All right. Oh, yeah, Django's in here. There we go. I lost the um, the question mark on my map. But I was standing on it. This is the season to be jolly. It oh, is. Oh, oh. Thank you for fixing the electric box. <laughs> Now my game room can keep on running again. Awesome. Brilliant. Okay, we are up to... We're not up to mischief, that would be fun, but no. Heading out to... Arlo, who I think still wants his Hello. seafood, whatever it is. Seafood noodles. I'm not going fishing for him, so he can, he's just going to have to do with a um, some spicy really fish soup. Nice present. Thank you. Yo, welcome. Okay. <laughs> Mayor Gale is at home having lunch. Let's check out our commissions. Actually, I probably should have checked to see if I had one before we went anywhere. But um, that's how it is. We have some B classes. Higgins, two desk lamps, 89 and 932. 92 and 675 for, hmm, I haven't made those before. Yes, I have. And two iron pans, 92 and 722. So, two scarves. Let's go on an adventure and find out what they're all about. Okay. We need... Morning, Arlo. We need... Um, where is Mayor Gale? He's at home. I could run up the other one, but then I'd have to run up two ramps, which would actually bring me out right in front of his door, but um, let's do long way. Okay. <laughs> That's not helpful. 
Nor is that. Come back here. Thank you. You're Nothing very well. Help out Gust. There you go. Seems you're very supportive of his, of his architectural Actually, ambitions. I was hoping that he would follow in my <laughs> footsteps. When I retire, I'd hoped he would run for mayor and continue to serve the residents of Portia. A political dynasty. <laughs> oh. However, he's got his own dreams to follow. All I can do is support him every step of the way. That's it. Have you ever told him? Kind of. Maybe I should go and tell him today. <laughs> oh, thank you for the help. You're really welcome. Good luck with that. Hey, Ginger. What was Ak like? Was he, he was friendly? great. I want to meet him someday. Well, he's up at the Civil Corps. You could go visit. Okay. We have two silk scarves, a water well, and I need to go and see how many discs I need for, for research. It could, could just still be 10, but it might actually be up to 20 now. Um, as we get more advanced, that's the school. And away we go. By the time we get back, we'll have a few more of our ingredients made. So that will be pretty good. Where is Petra lurking? There's Merlin. There's Petra. Hello. She blends in. Despite hey. the rarity of a living AI, there's not too much information we can glean from them. They were very specialized in what they do, and we don't know how their microchip sets work. Okay. So. Hi. Did you discover something new? I did. That I have should be ten enough discs. data disks. Still, if you want to expedite our <laughs> research, you can submit more data disks. Oh, uh, no. More data. The faster we work. I can't. The data corruption on these disks are minimal. There should be useful info on them. We'll have something for you by tomorrow. All right. E, and we go to a gift. Here's something for you. I like this gift. Thanks. <laughs> All right. So we're going to head this way. And I think we've got a ton of stuff we need to actually get done, which should be fun. This is the part of the storyline I like the best, when everything starts to happen. And you're like, oh, I've got to get this done and that. Gust. Hello, QQ. How you doing? Yeah? Oh, right. I have for you, that's an aroma apple. There you go. You're very welcome, piggy. All right. And Gust. Um? How are you? My master Verna in Ataro was a great architect. Her designs were always so brave and open. They just flowed. I hope to match her level of skill one day. Well, everyone says you're kind of already there, but uh, okay. Here, have breakfast. You've chosen wisely this time. <laughs> I've chosen wisely this time. I always do. Okay, maybe not always. Sam, I believe, has a desire she wants fulfilled. Hey! Hey, how you doing? Oh god, shrimp and cheese on rice, that's right. Surprisingly Hi. enough... Uh, shrimp and cheese on rice does not require cheese. I remember that much because I've tried give, tried it with cheese and it doesn't work. So I think I'm going to have to try it with milk and shrimp and maybe rice. And I can't remember if it's one or two packets of rice. Actually, why am I going into the mines? Because I need more discs. So we need more discs. We need more wood. We need to finish two commissions three commissions because we haven't done the crane either so what I might do is now that the others have gone whoops and I need to build a printing press which I can't do until I have aluminium so that'll be our priority 26 days for that one nine for that one and no time limit on that or that okay pretty good so no real stress we've got time to do it all kind of the only problem is, is if you leave it because you do have time to do it all you're going to end up with um, a bunch of tasks all sitting on your head and and as fun as that might be it's kind of best to avoid it if you can we'll just get a few more twigs and bits on the way through alrighty grab that and we'll grab that and we'll grab a manganese steel bar I think I needed more than one but I could be wrong there was one of those in there. 
and more of that. So this is like if you only had one burner, you would have come back and you'd have been able to pick up maybe two or three steel bars. But if you've got three or four burners going, you come back and you can pick up six or eight or ten or however many you've got running. And that's what we really kind of need. Okay. No, we don't. Need, I don't need aluminium for the printing press. I need four of those. And I need two more of those. Oh. Okay, so. Hang on. Okay, I'm not going to make four of those. I need four for the crane, I think it was, and two for the press. So I need to make three more. No, I need to make two more. I am trying to math way too early in the morning. Okay, that's nearly ready to rock. Steel plate, I need to get some more of that. How many do I need? Nine, yep. Ten of those already in. I now have enough of that and I've got halfway to there. One more to go for that. Alright, so we're just basically waiting on the pulley. So what I might do is I might put that one up. To remind myself of where I'm at. And then we're going to go to silk scarves, for which I may need to make an advanced skyver. Actually, no, because I don't make them on here. Alright, well, while we're here, we'll still get these off, because that's kind of important. Like I said, it's like you, you order 600 worn fur. And it's, it's never going to be enough. Um, so you just got to kind of keep up with the fiber cloth production for a good bit longer. Right, silk scarf. I need normal cloth. Okay, I can either flick one of these over. Yeah, that might be quicker. I was going to say, I can either flick one of those over or I think I've got to go beat up ladybirds. Um, we'll just make all of that. Yep. See, so wild cocoons come in handy. All right, we have our scarves on. Steel frames and hoisters we can't make. That's fine. Okay. See, so as as fast as I was with the production, I still wasn't fast enough. So that's interesting. Okay. The next two things we need will be uh, wood, which is probably our more urgent need, and discs. So we've basically got about six days before we're going to need to give more discs to the data center. And we're right at that cusp where it's either going to be 10 or 20. So we, we kind of should have about 20 discs in the kitty so that we don't have to go and fetch them in order not to fall behind with our tech. And we need to get the uh, advanced skivers up and running as well. I mean, just from the point of view that they can do 20 instead of 10 is um, always important. Crystals you can find over here. Uh, if you don't want to grow your own crystella trees or you haven't had time to do it, these replenish every couple of days. And I think there's one over in the um, in the collapsed wastelands as well. So that uh, that is useful to know. I think I spend a lot of time roaming around the countryside looking for crystals when I first started. And it was... Um, it was one of those things, you know, you kind of get to that point in the story where you need a bunch of them and you just, oh my god, where are they? You can also find them in the Haunted Cave um, as well. But if you're going to do it and not grow them, you need to kind of start collecting them right from the beginning. And resist the urge to make um, crystal necklaces to help with your friendships uh, with Miss Lucy and Alice which I've been really remiss on. I haven't actually done a lot of those. All right, now, chopping the trees without chopping the wildlife. Fingers crossed, because the wildlife make it really hard. Yeah, crazy lady with an axe, run. There you go. So... I should put, oh no, my timber is down the bottom. So we're going to go for about 500 timber and hopefully we'll have a little bit of time left in the day. 
Right, there's usually a couple of crystals down the end of the island here. Um, obviously not today, although I might take that rock out in case it'll encourage them to spawn. There we go. Okay. It's very chill, this game. Although that sea urchin over there looks like he's about to make some mischief. No, he's eating. Oh, little sticks. I know, axes are for chopping trees, but really... Sometimes you just can't get those keys to, to change your weapon quick enough. It's like, come on Mr. Urchin, crazy lady with an axe and you're going to fly near her. That's just insane. Urchin with a death wish. Alright. One of the Steam achievements you've got too is uh, fighting all the eligible people in town. Hey! And Lua is really hard to miss. Trades, but not great at anything. So the mayor gives me a lot of odd jobs, which I enjoy. He's pretty good. At the moment, Goodbye. he's guarding the haunted cave. Um, so if you're ever wondering which one you've missed, because it's really hard to miss them, you just don't forget Lua's standing out on Amber Island. Um, that kind of helps. All right, snail lobs. Snail lobs are really are a really good uh, place to get your shrimp for your cooking. So uh, we may have to come and hunt one if I don't have enough. So I'll check in my ingredients box and we'll see if we can't work out shrimp and cheese. Um, like I said, I, I don't think I've ever had that recipe and I don't think I've worked it out yet, so it's uh, time to experiment a little bit with that. Iron axes are really good. Sparkly bit over there is resin. I've got about 200 resin, so I'm going to leave it alone. So is that one. So um, if you're ever short on resin, ooh, chest. Amber Island's a good place to get it. That one had an aroma apple in it. Aroma apples are worth 20 stamina. Um, once you get above 200 stamina points, it's actually worth drying them because dried apple will give you 10% of your stamina. So if you've got 400 stamina, your aroma apple is worth more dried. Um, but it's pretty, it's one of the nice things that drop from tree kicking. Okay. We are nearly at 500 timber, which is good. Oops. Mad crabs can be a good source of mucus. Uh, so can snail lobs. Oops. They're also really hard not to hit when you're chopping wood because they tend to get underfoot. Uh, and they're a good source of meat as well as Grab claws occasionally, but usually only get those from the big ones across the river. Okay, 500 wood. We might get home. Maybe. Before we fall asleep. Okay, I think tomorrow, as in tomorrow's Porsche day, we are going to be able to finish the crane. Uh oh, oh, <laughs> oops. The crane, the uh, well, and that uh, the silk scarves. Gosh. Oh dear. All right, and yeah, that should be that. So let's check it out. We have our pulleys. 
and our cloth. All right, we'll grab that commission while we're here. I might as well make three. Yeah, let's make three. Three is good. Woohoo! Now, I'm going to put charcoal on first because I always forget. It's pretty much a one for one deal, I think. One charcoal for one timber. And we get to gather quite a bit of carbon steel this morning. If I wasn't so fixated on the bronze early, we probably would have had a bit more. Okay. But early in the game, you want the bronze, and then as soon as you can, you need as much carbon steel as you can. All right. We're out of iron ore, which is good, because we also need some more discs. So that gives us a good excuse to visit the mine. There's our printing press uh, manganese bars ready to rock. Okay, no. And that would be the rest. We're going to make some more bearings because we are going to need some more of those. The little exclamation mark just means there's stuff that you can make to do with the mission. And I don't want to make any more pulleys, so I'm going to ignore it. However, more bearings, always good. I like to keep about 20, 10 or 20 of those on hand. Uh, it's just some some games I have a bit more trouble getting to doing that than others. All right, pulleys, steel cable, steel frame, ironwood plank, and a hoister. Let's see what we've got in the box. Alrighty, hoister, steel frame. I don't think I've got any steel. Oh, ironwood planks. That's right. Alrighty, go that way. There's mail in the mailbox and I haven't checked my map. Uh, both of which I should be doing first up in the morning. Ironwood planks uh, lurking in timber. Okay, and I need to make some more of those so I might go and do that in a tick. Forgotten what I need. Pulley steel, steel cable, steel frame. Yep, so just the cable. So it's quite handy for some of the uh, quests you've got. You can actually crafting. You can actually find what you need to make the bits you need. But I had steel cable um, listed in the actual things that make it. There we go. All right, and that needs to go down in my in my hot bar as well that down we'll pop that down there and we'll grab this okay pulleys which are where are they hiding there okay put in the pulleys all right we'll try that again pulleys and four for the cable all right I'm gonna have to move a little bit to just get that to highlight there we go and five for the ironwood planks. Six for the strengthened glass. What? A oh, steel frame. I don't think I needed strengthened glass in here. Seven for the hoister. There we go. Okay, that's the construction crane done. Let's grab out the printing press. Yep, and I need to put some steel plate on. Okay, printing press is hiding. Right down the bottom. There we go. Pulleys, industrial engines, grinding stones, and manganese steel bars. All right. Pulleys, industrial engines. That's an advanced. Industrial engines. Where are my pulleys hiding? They should be in here somewhere. There they are. Okay, sure. Pulleys. Manganese steel bars. Industrial engines. And grinding stones, which I need to make. 
we're not making 200 although they do sell for four hmm I think we needed two of these I hope so because it's annoying jumping back and forth there we go all right manganese steel bars on a five and a four and a put it in your hopper also a four. Oh, I need three dope There we go. What have I missed? Industrial engine. I knew that. That's why it's in the hot bar. Alright. Retrieving of that one. What else can we take before we go anywhere? A water well. We need steel plate and we need iron wood planks put on. So we'll go over here because these are the only ones that'll do it. Burn through the steel. Uh, carbon steel bars and ironwood planks we are going to need more of those so it would be good if we just had them running okay good morning Emily hey. how you doing it's so hot in the summer it would be really nice to be able to absorb the sunshine and convert it into energy like the wheat in the field it would. See you. That's pretty good. From the research center, we found something useful and we'll mail you the results in seven days. So that's seven days to get 20 more data disks, uh, which isn't going to be too hard because we also need iron and we should be able to get by without chopping wood for another day. Silk scarves. I didn't check my map. Okay. That's the well. That's May. Okay, yep. Construction crane and the Commerce Commission. All right. So the only one we're not doing that uh, right now will be the well. And we might be able to do that at the end of the day. We'll just see how, how fast that steel plate uh, can process. Albert. Magnificent job. Thank you. We'll install this right away and get to work. Heck, you might even want to place one of these in the museum someday. That sounds <laughs> like that? a plan. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Who? I worked hard for this. Money <laughs> is a good thing, other than reinvesting. I just want to have fun with it. Fair enough. We shall give him a talisman while we're here. Is it for me? Yes. Thank you. Here you go. Okay. QQ is a sh The materials my father got me. Uh oh. They came from you, right? Uh, really yes. Like to be nosy. Hmm. Man asked me for a favor. What were they supposed to do? Say no? And besides, you needed it, so... Ha. Huh. You're welcome, Gust. You'll notice, though, he, he grumbles, but he gives you a plus 40 on your relationship with him, so he's actually not that upset. Alrighty, we have two Bs and a D. 89 and 557. Actually, you know what? There's no point uh, actually going onto the board until we've delivered our commerce commission so we'll head down to I think it was Mars who wanted some silk scarves so we'll uh, do that mind you he only got two well, he's got three kids so that's going to cause an interesting uh, set of blarneys going on Dr. Zhu back from his normal his uh, morning run with the herbs where is Mars it's not Mars okay Remington. Well, that makes sense. I should probably uh, allot that point as well. No. All oh, right. While we're here, we might as well put another ad in the Quarter Times. So this is basically everything that you've done. You'll see in the Quarter Times uh, as you do it. But what we're looking for are our ad placements because that's going to increase our rep as a um, as a workshop 
and you know you probably don't need to really do it but uh hi how helps. are you You're good oh, is that a printing press they had a <laughs> bunch of them in the atara office whoa i can't believe we're going to have one in our office yeah that is pretty much what we're doing thank you so <laughs> much i don't have any money right now but if our newspaper starts to make more money We'll pay you later with interest. How about that? You could just say thanks and get on with it. It's fine. Doing all kinds of favors today. It is what we do. Okay, silk scarves for Remy. Where's he? Still up at the mines? Remy's often on mine duty, so we um. Oh, someone summoned horse. All right, that is Arlo. Remington's not at the mines. He's actually at HQ. Good morning, Remington. I have your commerce commission. If I run into any trouble, don't hesitate to ask us if we call for help. Sure thing. All right. Do I need any materials? Let's have a quick look at the board. Okay, we do need to clear out level 4 of the sewage plant. I should be good for worn fur for a bit. I don't know what my blue leather stock is like. Uh, I did order about 200. I might just order another. If you if you poke it in the middle, if you, instead of hitting the plus sign, you hit it here, you'll get this option. And then you can just hit 200. And 666 isn't bad. We're not in a rush, so we'll leave it at 2. Um, we could reduce it to reduce the cost, but that's fine. Your commissions arrive quicker from the Civil Corps if you've um, if you've increased your friendships with the guys, so that helps. All right. Emily's well. All right, once we get into the mines, we're probably not going to come out for the rest of the day. So what I might do is I might just go and check and see if we've got four steel plate cooked already and if we do I'll get the well done and if we don't I'm just going to go and mine uh, so we'll see how that goes all right And I should plant some more stuff too, that would help. Okay. Nope. Okay, looks like the steel plate's going to take a bit longer. Uh, I should check my backpack space before I go anywhere. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's deal with that. We will sort all. That's pretty good. We'll hit our crafting box. For all the crafty bits we made that we haven't used yet or that we have used oops hit our tree box for the cocoon and the resin our ingredients box for the wheat crafting for the rubber And we need we need another ingredients box. Let's just grab that wooden storage there and rename it to ingredients two. Okay. Okay. I must have had them out for some kind of adventure. We're going to put our badges in the uh, clothing clothing and weapons box. I always forget. Actually, we might just... No, maybe we won't do that. There we go. Just makes them easier to find. They take up space. I just have to remember they're in there when I actually need them. Alright, so we just sort all up and we're doing 
All right, so I've got timber that needs to go away. All right, so we have one, and we have two, and we have three. And then we have metals and minerals for one and two and three. Uh, and then I forgot some crafting bits. Those two. And I forgot the manganese steel bar, manganese bars, which are there. Okay, now we're cooking. So we've got all of that space as well. And I don't think we're going to be able to fill it all up. Nope, still working on that steel bar. So we're probably not going to get the steel bars until, steel plate until tomorrow. There we go. Right, so we need 20 discs and about 500 iron ore. I don't think there's anything yet. Nothing special there. E for abandoned ruins. And away we go. We might also grab some more relics. If the museum's going to get up and running very, very soon, we'll be able to get some more museum stuff. Quick check on the map. Okay, that's fine. F for find me treasure. And let's go somewhere we haven't been. We often, we often start at the other side. Oh, that looks pretty good. Alright, that looks very good. Let's start with that one. Not with an axe. Oh. Alright, it does help if you arrange your equipment the way you need to. Oh, what was that? Soldier with a blade. Okay. It'd be nice to have a full set of soldiers to kind of hand into the museum but before we start. That was some springs and bits and bobs. All right, how are we going to do this? Yeah, all right, let's start with that and then we're just going to move our way to the left and then we'll see how we go. That looks like a lens. Actually, move from right to left, we can go down rather than up because up is always awkward when you want to collect the treasure and up is also closer. First three down. Uh, right, these are the closest ones. 21, 18 and 16. Let's start with the closest and work our way down. Some more manganese is coming. This is just incidental mining. You can get a whole bunch of stuff, but what we're hoping for uh, are discs. Which you can get, ooh, iron, and iron, there we go. Nearly forgot. Okay, into the hot bar, we're going to move our iron ore, and we're going to move our discs, where did they go? Right in front of me. Old parts and springs are also good to keep an eye on. What we're going to do while we're here, because we need 500 iron ore, and this is a lovely big patch of iron. We're just going to mine this out until we get 500. And I could probably have seen it on the surface, but I didn't. Okay, that's out of range. Oh no, no it's not. Alright, I will leave that bit of iron alone. I don't like leaving the bits just dangling in nowhere. It just drives me crazy that they're there. So I like to mine them if I can. And by mining around the edges, we can just make sure that we've got pretty much everything. 
which makes it easier for later on if we need it. So halfway to us 500 iron. Another couple of discs have dropped so that's good. So we need 12 more of those. Basically, if you put your spotlight on whatever you're trying to mine, that's what you'll hit. Um, oops, okay. I know, I'm being really lazy because I don't want to actually move. But I'm going to have to. have nearly 500 iron. Right, okay, well we're out of iron in this section. Let's head down to the next treasure. That would be an absolute pain to try and get if you're coming at it from underneath. All right. Ooh, secret rooms. We'll hit that in a minute. That's closer and on the way. All right, let's go this way. So what we'll basically do is we'll take out the, um, the box and head into the underground room. Uh, these, if you're into your Steam achievements, finding an underground room, or an abandoned room as they're called, is, uh, is the Steam achievement for finding the secret, um, the secret room in the mines. I forget exactly what it's called, maybe for abandoned room. When Carol gets her sewing machine, she can modify your clothes. Ooh, awesome. I know, so much for Remington saying, there's no monsters in these mines, we've checked them out as safe. I figure if you won't tell him, I won't. Alright, there is... what? That snail ate my treasure. No! Okay. We'll pick up the couches. Once you get um, enough of those, they're great for building stamina up early on, but uh, after that you can sell them. There we go, they didn't eat this treasure. A small engine and a data disc. Two data discs, that's even better. That way. All storage boxes in your yard can be managed by the storage drop down interface from each storage, so it doesn't matter which one you're facing when you head in. Okay. Uh, when you go into an abandoned room, it will wipe out anything you happen to have marked outside. The other thing with these things is the little dots once you've been in there doesn't go away. Uh, so you just got to be aware, you kind of got to remember where you've been uh, when it comes to the abandoned rooms. I know there's another one around here somewhere so we might just head into that shortly. Uh, not that one, that one, right. Looks like we've hit the bottom of the mine. That's pretty good. Alright, also if a treasure is stuck inside this cobbly stone looking stuff, usually if you've mined everything away from the top you can still get to it. Alright, let's find more treasure. So there's one over there as well, but I might just take out these here, otherwise I won't come back to them. Alright. We are at 20 discs, so that's good. We've got our, our next lot of research covered. What we haven't got covered is any uh, incidental stuff like, you know, build be one of these, go to the research center and give them five discs. So we're gonna actually just go up to 30. That should cover that. All right, or we could just mine till we collapse because that always works. More manganese, that's the pretty blue. Tempering liquid is what you need for your strengthened glass and you also need it for hardened clay. 
Uh, we are going to need some of that later on, so I have started making it. You need valves for making sprinklers. Actually, we need to have a few of those because I think Emily wants to... Well, she'll probably ask for sprinklers after we've um, built her a well. Because she, she's seen what the tree farm's got, and that's pretty much what she's after. We're out of stamina. What? And I'm out of dried apples. That's even worse. Oh, no. All right, we're just going to eat Arlo's soup, and we're going to eat it a bowl at a time because otherwise we'll eat it and not need it. That one looks like a basic chip set. Looks like we're going to be here until we fall over. Yep, one basic chip set. Where's that other thing now? 1502, that's close. I was thinking we might have to run back up the tunnel to get back to where we were for this, but it's it's still closer from this angle. Alright. Simple circuits, data disks, we're at 24. Can we make it 25 before we fall over? Right, they're a lot further away than all the ones we saw. Back over here. Oh no! And there we go. All right. It is 5.55, but I might do another another episode uh, before I stop. And that, that'll be three days in one instead of two. So uh, I'll go for another half hour and then, um, and then we'll call it a day today. But uh, we'll do day three. I'd like to finish a couple of things first. All right. Carbon steel bars. Let's refuel this one. And it looks like I'm going to be out of charcoal. I know I'm not. It's good. So the only reason we can put just six on in here is because that's how many we've pulled off. So we had it at max and it can't go anymore. All right. Bite the bullet and grab that charcoal while we're at it. Actually, it's more efficient to make charcoal on these. That was 20 wood for 25 charcoal. If you make it on the small burners, you're looking at 20, uh, 10, 10 wood for 10 charcoal. Um, but you really do chew through it because you, you need to make more pulls. Uh, that should be all the manganese steel bars we need. So, yeah, I know I'm playing with fire, but... Uh, we need a lot more carbon steel a lot quicker. And I'm going to say the same for the tin alloy, although I don't know if that's the best thing I can do. Out of charcoal, fine. We'll make more charcoal. Welding rods. We are going to need more welding rods. All right, let's make charcoal. We're going to be out of wood if we do this, but um, I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. I am currently ignoring my small burners with their loadings. Wooden planks, what else can we make on this? That looks like a plan. Okay, we can now make Emily's well. And uh, while we're here, we're going to make something else as well. What was it? Okay, so for Emily's well. Uh, the logic is that she's seen what's up at the tree farm and she'd like that for her own property. So 5, 10, 6 and 8. Steel plate, bronze pipe, bearings, manganese steel bars. Okay, what have I got in my pack? Alright. Steel plate. Bronze pipe. Uh, manganese steel bars. I think that was it. Oh, bearings, wasn't it? Bearings. And bearings. Springs can go away because that's where they belong. We'll very quickly make this one. So we have eight for bearings. 
six for manganese steel bars, five and four. Awesome. All right, now because I've played this before, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a tank. Put a storage tank. Hopefully I've got enough iron bars. I'll be like, no. Right, I need to make some more iron bars. And copper pipe we're good for. And gee, we're low on our hardwood planks. So I'll have to fix that. Okay. All right, I'm going to flip over one of these machines for iron bars. Actually, I could probably flip. Let's do this. What we'll do is we'll get these iron bars up and running really quick. And I know I said 25, but that's not going to be what it is. And then what we'll do is we'll flip back. But this will let us also um, consolidate our activities on the other ones. So we'll just head over here. And rather than lose any production time, we're going to increase that because everything that we just took off the other three burners has gone back into the stacks. So we can literally just increase the production off here. Yep, that will do. Okay. All right. Well, it looks like what we'll do instead is we'll head over and we'll just place Emily's well and come back. Actually, let's see if we can make sprinklers, or if we have them already. Sprinklers are found under the Useful Bits and Bobs tab. I have one. She's going to need about four, I think it was. Just do three more, and I'll grab the other one out of the box, which is here. Hopefully. There it is. Alright, so with these things, when you place them, you don't need them in your hotbar. You just have to have them in your inventory. Uh, so that's kind of handy. You don't have to kind of rummage every time you want to make something. I'm looking... Oh, that little arrow. We might get rid of that little arrow as well. It's driving me crackers. There we go. Now we've got to go find Emily, who is either on the way home or heading back. Heading back. There we go. Here, Emily. This is wonderful. Thank awesome. you so much. Randy will be so happy. Although, do you think I could add to the request? You certainly can. Like well, what you need. Well, you see, if we could add some sprinklers to the fields, that would help a lot. I'm sure. I'm so glad. I thought you might get mad there for a second. Why would I do that? Okay. All right. Looks like I've also missed a request too. This is what you get for not... Oh, God. For not looking at your map first thing in the morning. All right. There should be. Here we are. So sprinklers, we can at least get these down while we're waiting for our iron bars to cook. And with any luck, this will take us long enough that we um, that we don't lose too much time to get anything else done. And we'll go this way. If I remember rightly, that last little star at the top is for the water tank. Oh, excellent. All right. Let's go and check out who needs us. Uh, change of appearance. I think that's... Um, what's he called? Starts with A. He drives me crazy because he's always chasing the girls. All the girls. It's not just one. Bunny beggar. Albert. Uh, oh, it's just you. Yeah. Look, I'm not feeling all that social today. Actually, to be honest, I'm in a pretty bad situation. Uh-huh. Can I help? 
I just got back from a business trip in Sandrock. While I was there, I went to a cafe. It had great dessert tea and cute waitresses. <laughs> it was the perfect place for me. Until something terrible happened. I overheard one of the girls laughing about my outfit. Really? This may come as a surprise to you, but I care a lot about my appearance. <laughs> I try to be humble about it, but after this, I feel pretty low. Aww. I was wondering if you could maybe see what other people around town think about my style? Sure, who do you want me to ask? Like, can I ask all of them? No, no, that's not necessary. <laughs> Anybody will do. Two random people, off the top of my head, maybe Phyllis and Sonia? That's not very random. Alrighty, while I'm here. Oh. Hey, Gust! I brought My your. Master Verna in Atara was a great fish architect. cakes. Her designs were always brave and open, and they just flowed. He really, really um, admires Looks like her. Like you spent some thought on this. Yeah, just a little bit. Albert. Hi. Because you're feeling so low, have a present. Thank you for giving me a present. You're very welcome. And I think yesterday I forgot to grab a commerce uh, commission as well. So we're going to grab that and then we'll head over and talk to Sonia. And then we'll go find Phyllis. Poor Albert. He should just be him. Ooh. Two B classes. What do we got? One DD transport. That's probably the one we'll take actually. Yeah, that's worth 90 rep. That's worth 61. You don't often get these ones, so we'll grab that. Awesome. It's um it's worth getting those every chance because basically one of them is is the equivalent I think of two B classes if you finish the B classes in the same time and, and successfully. Right, so you're kind of doubling how much you can earn in a day. The customers really like the game room, so thank you for getting it back <laughs> up again. You're really Hello welcome. There. What's that? You want to gossip about Albert? You came to the right girl. Oh god. Albert's not a bad looking guy by any means, but he lacks the elegance of a man like Django. And <laughs> construction seems like a successful business. So I don't know why Albert dresses so normally. He should flaunt his wealth a little more. Okay. Hello. Hey, how you doing? The people at the research center. Don't are... talk to me about the people at the research center. You only whine, it's not becoming. All right, where did I put my discs? Okay. All right, I don't think I'm being blind. I possibly sorted them back into the box. I hope I sorted them back into the box. Hmm. Oh, and Phyllis. Sorry, we're going to go check on Phyllis. She should be up at the medical center this time of day, although sometimes she comes out for lunch, so... We will just head this way. Could have taken a DD stop. That might have been quicker. Hey, Phyllis, got a question. You want to know what I think of Albert's appearance? Ah, uh, yeah? Sure, I don't mind a little bit of gossip. Oh, great. Albert seems to keep himself well-groomed, but his fashion <laughs> isn't for me. It's a little too... frontier. You either go rugged like Arlo, or classy like Gust. Guys like Albert are just playing it too safe. Well, what if that's what they're comfortable with? Hello! Hey, Dr. Shu! Do you go on adventures often? Uh-huh. Keep some drugs at hand, and remember the doctor's advice. You're not nagging me, are you? Really? Is it for me? Yeah. Thank you. You're really welcome. He's he's like a very, very much a mother hen, Dr. Zhu. It's like, hang on, Doc. I know you care, but... Alrighty. I mean, I hate to think of what he thought about me leaping across the rooftops like this. He'd probably have heart failure. All right, now I need to talk with Albert, who's having lunch. Yeah. So it's it's not in Porsche. It sometimes seems like you just never-ending 
uh, quests and it's like an avalanche, but it's not uh, not that hard. Where did he go? Oh, there he is, looking morose. Hey, Albert, chin up. Neither of them are too impressed either, huh? Ah. Oh. <sighs> that is terrible news. But I guess that waitress in Sandrock was doing me a favour in her own way. A charming bachelor like <laughs> me can't walk around not knowing what people think of him. That's like building a house on a poor foundation. And I know better than that, at least. Thanks for running around there for my go. sake, though. Here's a little something for your trouble. No, it's Maybe it's I fine. should go have a talk with Carol. Okay. And... Hi. Hey, how you doing? If you find any good recipes out there, be sure to bring them by. I'm always trying to improve the menu. <laughs> sure, actually, speaking of your menu, what do I want to learn today? How about something you haven't taught me yet? Snakeberry, lettuce, and catfish. Oh boy, here we go. Let's go with, um, let's go with snakeberry. Okay, delicious roasted ribs. And it's new. Awesome! That's a bargain. Which reminds me, we haven't tried making shrimp on cheese. And I know um, that little red bubble that says Sam wants one is, is gone. But we should, um, we should probably work it out. Okay, we also have a tank to make. Let's go and see if our trick with the three burners actually worked. Because we need to flip those back to carbon steel as soon as we can. Not quite. But we will get it done today because uh, we just need one more carbon steel bar. Okay, and the other thing I noticed was that we were short on hardwood planks. So the reason I've kept these little cutters around is they're really useful um, for doing bulk work uh, of the basic stuff. So now we've got a bit of copper plate and bronze plate. That and hardwood, it sells for 16, oh sorry, yeah, hardwood planks sell for 16, whereas I think hardwood all by itself might only sell for floor. So if you are looking at making a profit and you can keep these ones running, you can actually sell a bunch of your hardwood planks because you, you gather a lot of it as you're chopping. Um, although I wouldn't do that until uh, you've got some of your missions done. All right, while I'm here, let's refuel that. And we'll dump that back into bronze. We are going to run out, trust me on that. And I've lost two days production because I ignored them. Which which was good and bad. Mind you, I did run out of other stuff. So you just need to prioritise your um, what you need things for. Yeah, I'd feel bad about the copper if uh, I didn't have the thing. If I didn't know I'd need the bronze so badly. Alright. What was I doing? I was going to check my burners again. Nope. We are emptying my backpack again. I spend half my life chopping wood and the other half, I swear, I spend emptying my backpack. Uh, I'm really glad they've got auto sort though. Okay, we've got all of that. It's all good. Still no bronze, uh, no iron. I suppose I should really get into this part here. From the Civil Corps. Oh good. Worn fur by one. Did I end up ordering worn fur instead of... I did. Worn fur instead of blue leather. Let's just check out our blue leather supplies. I'm not sorry about the worn fur. I mean 476. You can never have too much. 676. But blue leather is... Okay we've got 133 of it. That's not in dire straits either. Engines, yep. Would be good to get a couple more of those. Okay, I'm just going to check on our wood supply because that's got to be getting low. Yep, that's low. It's uh, pretty much... Oh no, here it is. 35. It's still low. Crafting 3. 
and we're good with that. Okay, so basically we've got it's Christmas Eve, my goodness. Uh, we've got a bunch of trees to chop, I think. As much as I would rather be chasing down relics in the ruins, uh, I think I need to get into the tree chopping before I run out of burner fuel. I've pretty much denuded everything nearby. So... I stripped out the island, yep, except for one. I left one tree behind. Oh. All right, in that case, we're going to catch the DD stop up to the tree farm, jog down to the water wheel, and work our way back. Because the really big trees up in this area here have got a lot of hardwood, and you'll get some ironwood out of them as well. Uh, you get a fair bit of ironwood compared to what you normally get. So once, once we get started on the south block, not the south, yeah, the south block development and um, the mines and that sort of thing, we're going to need all that hardwood and all the ironwood that we can get. So we're just going to do a little bit of forward planning with it and grab it. I love the bunnies. They're really cool, but they also get in the way when you're chopping trees. They're as bad as the sea urchins. All right, let's start with this one. I sometimes feel really guilty because like these are really, really magnificent old trees. And I kind of go, oh, you can get hardwood out of that and chop it down. Um, I'd feel a lot worse if it didn't grow back. I'm putting it down to ancient technology, having, having bred some super fast growing trees. chop the bunnies although they're interesting there, there is um with each creature in in Porsche there's there's like an advanced version so with the rabbits you've got these ones and if we chase them down and, and kill them we'll get the advanced one so kind of like basically uh oh hey You also get other resources, so there's delicate fur out of the rabbits, which is kind of good. So with these guys, um, basically you get the top hats. Sometimes. And we'll just head over here. Here, bunny bunny. Okay. And what I'm hoping for is the Grand Master Illusion Bunny. There he is. Alright, so those are your basic bunnies. But this guy over here, this is your advanced version. He's a courteous bunny, although he's not very courteous when he's fighting you. Oh, and he pulls rabbits out of his hat. That's kind of cool. Alright, so in every for every Porsche creature, there's like an advanced version. And... Um, the steam achievement that's related to is when you're, it says to kill more, more of the advanced monsters. So you can do that. It doesn't have to be 30 different ones. It can be 30 of the same kind. Um, the good thing, however, is once you get rid of the advanced monster, usually he doesn't come back until the next day. So um, I can leave the rest of these bunnies alone now and they will, they will not attack me, uh, which is good. Alright, unless I accidentally hit them with the axe, then they'll get a bit cross. But that's kind of that's kind of how your advanced monsters work. And you get different resources from them too. So when you're chasing them down. Okay, so in this case we got cloth from the rabbits. Sometimes you'll actually get a top hat out of them. It doesn't look like we lucked out. There's also scarves. So that's another uh, source for clothing and materials. Yeah. What are we at? 10 o'clock? 240 timber. I better move myself. Well, 
Although I think we could also make that well very soon. So at midnight, I might make a bolt back for home. Not the well, the water tank. And we'll see. I think that's an apple tree, isn't it? Yep. No chopping the apple trees. And apple trees are something else you can grow from the church. You can get the seeds. Um, and plant them in the really large planter boxes. So you can actually have a good supply of apples for uh, stamina. And if you couple growing apple trees with um, drying racks and keeping several drying racks running at once, you can actually get quite a lot of apple in one go. Which is probably something else I should be doing. Alright. That's not an apple tree. Four forty eight timber. So five hundred timber with the extra burners probably just lasts us maybe a day now. Oh, we are at midnight. Funnily enough, the DDs are still running, so let's save ourselves a bit of time. And also the temptation to chop everything. And we'll grab that DD stop and we'll head head home. Much quicker than we could make it on foot. All oh, right. So we should have enough iron and what I'm going to do is switch my iron burners back over to carbon steel uh, or to charcoal. That is definitely enough. So. All right. So it looks like we're making charcoal and I'm going to make charcoal on all of these guys. And refuel. So that's the other reason we wanted a bit more timber because this is expensive on our wood. Alright, so we'll pop those three onto charcoal overnight and then in the morning we're going to switch them back to, um, to carbon steel. That tends to work pretty well. Yeah, and we definitely need to keep that one running on charcoal as well. That's uh, murder on my wood, I tell you. These guys we're just going to keep running on carbon because we're going to lose too much ground in it if we don't. Okay, that went through okay. All right, what do we got grinder wise? We have copper blades, bronze pipes. No copper blades. We need some more bronze pipes and we need to make a DD car. And we also need to make a DD stop. It's 138. Let's see how much of this we can get done. Um, that was daft because I also need to make a water tank. All right, water storage first. Hardwood planks. I need to make a copper pipes, okay, that's fine. We will fix that now. We're going to craft up all of the carbon, all of the copper into that because I let that drop a little bit low and we're going to kick one of these burners from bronze over to copper because otherwise we won't have enough. Actually they're all going to be out by morning if I'm not careful. It's good. Oh. oh no, not getting late. See, as much as I push it right to the end of the day, I still run out of time to do everything I want to do in a day. It's like, oh, story of my life, really. Happens in real life, too. What do you mean I can't write a novel and publish publish one and, and do a book cover all in a day? 
that's not on. Okay, we have a DD transport. Let's pop that up so I remember that I'm supposed to be building one because I did actually completely forget today. So we have enough glass, single seats we need to make, fiber cloth, rubber tires, and small engines. Let's grab, and we need copper bars as well. So I'm probably out of copper bars. I'm down on copper bars. We need a few more than that. We need about 15. All right. The other thing we need to make is a DD stop. Hardwood planks, bronze pipes, bronze plates. The reason I need to make that is there's one arrow that does not go away on our um, on our mini map, and it's it's a DD stop way up at the top of the falls, uh, which will come in handy eventually. But it just drives me crackers because it's there, and I don't need it yet, but I'm going to. So hardwood planks, bronze plate, bronze pipe, and also cloth. Okay. Let's see if we can't make this before we fall over. So fiber cloth, seven, and six for the bronze pipe, and five for the bronze plate. Why two, there we go and four for our hardwood planks. We wouldn't make it out to the falls to place it, so I'm going to try and remember to do that tomorrow. Uh, and just sort all back in. All right, we might leave the rest of that stuff in there for the moment. What did I say I was? <laughs> oh, I was low on sleep. Okay, no worries. Look, thank you for hanging with me today, guys. I do have to stop it there. And uh, I will catch you all in two days' time, Boxing Day in Australia, but uh, the day after Christmas for most of you. And we'll see you around. Take care out there.